Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 292 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey for today. I'm coming to you from here in Geelong, Victoria. I have a incredible week of ministry coming up. I am going to be preaching at Numa Youth, uh, an all-in night on Friday night. We've got um, all of the different campuses coming together from all over Melbourne, and I'm just going to be preaching on the Holy Spirit, believing for young people to encounter God in a powerful way this Friday night. Then on Saturday, I'm preaching at a young adults conference um, for Grace Church in Geelong. Super excited about that. That's the church I, I grew up in, the church I spent from the age of eight to 18 at and really just found the calling of God for my life there, really encountered God in a powerful way. So super excited to be preaching at their young adults conference. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be preaching at Grace Church uh, as well in their Sunday services. So super excited about this week of ministry coming up. Love to hear from you as well. If you have um, some stuff going on in your life or you just want to share with some stuff that's been going on, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what God's been doing in your life and how you've been um, working through the different passages of scripture that we've been reading. So please comment below um, if you've got something that you would like to share. I would love to hear from you. Um, so some of the things that really spoke to me out of the passages of scripture that we've been reading is firstly from uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 12. And this is a banger verse. We're highlighting all these different banger verses as we're going through them in the Bible. But this is another one. It's 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. You've probably memorized it as a kid if you grew up in church. It says, let no one despise you for your youth, but set the um, believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. I love this. This is a word for young leaders, a word for young pastors. Set an example. Be in a, a person of example, not a person of excuse. In every area of our lives, we should endeavor to be people of example and not of excuse. Not making excuses for bad behavior and, and sloppiness and you know just shortcomings and all these sorts of things. We should be people, even as young leaders, young pastors, who are setting an example for the believers believers in all different areas of our lives. So I love that encouragement from 1 Timothy today. Also, love this sort of verse. So this is a little bit of an explanation for you. So Jeremiah chapter 42, verse 5 to 7, and then we're going to read verse 9 to 11. Something a bit unusual going on in this passage of scripture. So it says, then they said to Jeremiah, may the Lord be a true and faithful witness against us if we do not act according to all the word with which the Lord your God sends you, you to us. Whether it is good or bad, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we are sending you, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. And then jumping down to verse 9, it says, At the end of the ten days, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah and said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, to whom you sent me to present your plea for mercy before him. If you will remain in this land, then I will build you up and not pull you down. I will plant you and not pluck you up. For I relent of the disaster that I did to you. Do not fear the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid. Do not fear him, declares the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. So it sounds right here like the people uh, of Israel, the people of Judah, the people of God are ready and waiting to hear the voice of God and they're going to follow the words of God and they've seen what's going on. They're, they're desperately trying to hold on to God and, and make sure that, you know, everything's going to go well with them. And it seems like they're taking this posture of humility. It seems like they're trying to do the right thing. They're like, Jeremiah, whatever you say, whatever word you bring from God, we're going to do it. Doesn't matter if it's good or if it's bad, we're going to do it. And so they say this and just a little while later, we're going to see that they declare that Jeremiah is lying, that he hasn't received the word of the Lord. That's not what God is saying to them. And they basically um, just say that they know better. They know better than what God is saying. They know better than what Jeremiah is saying. And they don't listen to the voice of Jeremiah, this wise counsel, this prophet in their lives. They declare that they are the authority, that they know it's not God, that they know it's a lie. And so they don't receive the word of the Lord. So just a great reminder to us today, 
not to make ourselves the final authority of our lives, to invite wise counsel into our lives and to actually be accountable to someone, to actually be accountable to some sort of structure that is going to protect us from being a law unto ourselves. We see that they were a law unto themselves. They decided what was right and wrong and all of this sort of stuff and they got it wrong and we can get it wrong as well. We always need to be accountable to someone, people that we trust to speak into our lives. So who are we accountable today? That's a great um, thought for us to end with. So I'd love to pray for us today, my friend. I'd love to pray that um, at even at any age, young or old, that we would set an example for the believers. We wouldn't be people of excuse, but we would be people of example. And I would love to pray as well that we would not be a law unto ourselves, but we would be people who would invite wise counsel into our lives and be accountable. So God, I just thank you for my friend today. I thank you for the opportunity that we have to just come around your word together and spend time in your presence, God. We just pray today, Holy Spirit, that you would speak to us, Lord God, that you would lead us and guide us, Lord, um, as we endeavor to be an example in all things for the believers, not people of excuse, but people of example. And I pray as well, Lord God, that you would help us to identify who it is that we're supposed to be accountable to in our world. What um, is our accountability structure? What are you expecting of us um, that we should not be a law unto ourselves? Who are you putting in in our world that can speak into our lives, that can help us to discern the voice of God in our lives so we can avoid the pitfalls that the children of Israel fell into here in this passage. So God, I thank you that you would help us to do that today. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that your power is upon us, Lord God, to go out and be who you've called us to be and to do what you've called us to do. And so we just give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said, amen, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, my friend. I'll catch you tomorrow uh, for day 293 of our Bible reading plan. See you then. Bye.